So now that we have multi-select dropdowns, there's a couple of things that we're trying to figure out. And so one of these was now that you have a list of dropdowns and you can select multiple items, how do you actually count how many are selected? Not how many rows have a value, but how many items are actually selected. So for example, in this one, we have eight. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows, but we have two reps in this one. So if we select another one, for example, here, and then that should now be nine. And so you can see this is doing it correctly. And so let me just run through how this works. And then I'll show you how to transpose that to where you can use a drop down or even a multi select drop down and count how many names match that. So let's start with this real quick here. So first of all, I'm going to grab this here and drop just this part of the formula down here. And so if you look down here, you can see I have a couple of rows over here that popped over. And so we could flatten this. We could use a flatten thing and put it all in the same column. But you don't need to do that for the counting. And so what this does is it splits anything that has a comma into two values like that. And then it counts up all of them once you wrap it in this counter. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that I do have an if error there. And that's to make sure that it's not trying to split these empty cells. So if we got rid of this if error, and let me go back to this, we get rid of this if error, we're going to go from nine to 11, because now it's counting these because basically what it's doing when it's trying to split. And let me just do that real quick here. And then put this in a right formula. So it runs down. So what it does when it goes down to here is it has this value error, which is not blank. And so when we do that count, then it comes up with a actual number because it's counting those errors on those two rows. All right, so that gives us our count. And this works however many we want to select, whether it's in a blank row or selecting an additional one, an existing row, and so forth. All right, and so next, let's look at how to count from a multi-select dropdown. So we can have one or more. And so we want to count all the names here that match the one or more that we have selected and count those up. And so I have that formula here. And so you see like the first one, we have a count uh, around the whole thing. But then inside this, we're using a filter. And so we have a similar formula here to what we were using, the if error and split. But then we're wrapping that in a flatten right here. And what that does is it turns it into where it was before into two or more columns. This flattens it into one. So that way we can use it inside this filter. And so this is basically where we're coming up for our data. And so I'll just show you that here. And then let me put this in array formula. So the whole thing will display. And then there's all the names in a single column. And so then that allows us inside this filter function to use this data as our data. And then we use a match to match that data. So this is the exact same as what we just had. And then we match that to a split of E4. And so if there's one or more in E4, then we can do a match on that. And so this is match a formula. And it's looking for exact matches between these two lists. And anything that has an exact match will return as true inside this filter. And so then we only get the list of names that match the list here. And we wrap it in an if error, just that way it doesn't return with one if you don't have any selected. So if we get rid of this if error just for a second, just like what we had there before, we had to wrap the if error so it wasn't counting the errors. So this, what's happening? We get rid of the count, we have an error. And so I can go ahead and reset that. And so that shows zero if we don't have anything selected. Otherwise, three if we have Alice, and six if we have Alice and John. All right, so that's it for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe if this is helpful for you. And check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day.